Hello and welcome YouTubers and Doctor Who fanatics to part 6 of my Doctor Who DVD collection series which is Colin Baker. And also my DVD collection series has reached one year. I started part 1 in July 2014, it's been a while, I've been very slow in this series I have to admit. So without no further ado, let's dive into the Colin Baker era. So we start with his first story, which is The Twin Dilemma. Regarded as one of the worst, well actually the worst Doctor Who story of all time. And yeah, I pretty much agree with that. It isn't a good story. It's appalling to be honest. But yeah, this is just not good at all. It has no build up whatsoever. Extremely dull. The storytelling is crap. It's just not good. However, it's got funny scenes. I'll give it that much. That's why I give it a 2 out of 10. I'm not going to watch that anytime soon until I get to it in my marathon. But anyway, the next one. Attack of the Cybermen. A lot more better this one is. It would be great if it was an introduction story for his Doctor. Yeah, the Sixth Doctor, much better in this one. His performance has grown from the Twin Dilemma. The Cybermen are, yeah, good in this. The Cryons, I, I don't think they're very good. I... I didn't really like them, to be honest. Nice that it references a lot of past Cyberman stories. Yeah, it's a nice Doctor Who story. It's quite underrated. Well, actually, all the Colin stories are pretty much underrated, but if you're a fan of Colin, this is one of his popular TV stories. But yeah, I quite enjoy that one. Vengeance on Varos. This is a popular Sixth Doctor story. A lot of people like this one. It is very dark, but yeah, I really like it. And I do love the cliffhanger, I think it's very effective, I love it. Sill is great. It's nice for him to return again in Mind Warp. See, that's good stuff. I quite enjoy that one, I do. I wouldn't class it as, as a classic as some people do, but for the most part, I do enjoy Vengeance on Varos. Mark of the Rani. A lot of people find this the worst Colin Baker story, or one of the worst. I have to disagree about that, I think it's a great story. Very well directed, I gotta admit right there. I would say the story is quite slow, but it does get going, and the Rani and the Master are brilliant. Now we have the legendary Two Doctors. This is my favourite Six Doctor story by a long shot, and I would prefer it over the first Sontarans, as that never happened and replaced with this one. Would I prefer the first Sontarans? No, how can I deny Patrick Troughton? You know, the Sontarans aren't used for a major purpose but still I quite actually I really like that one it's definitely one of my favorite 80s believe it or not Conan in that one and also Mark of the Rani isn't very brash he's rather nice he is uh, Time Lash oh dear this is one of the most cheapest Doctor Who stories ever there's not really anything I like about it the androids pretty stupid the bandrels are oh, those like snake puppets I don't like that either, that snake monster down in the pit, or that room, I can't remember about it, but... No, this one isn't good. Borad at the start is Borad or Borag, I can't remember his name, it's one of the two. Yeah, he's an alright villain, he just sits in his chair and he, he lacks too much like Sutek. He sits in his chair and has all the power, but... No, they're trying to do a Sutek, but no, it doesn't work. Revelation of the Daleks, another popular one if you're a fan of the Six Doctors era. Unfortunately, I don't like it, to be honest. So much elements I don't like. The DJ is so annoying. And part one, it's pretty much the Doctor and Perry walking about. And that's it for those two. It mostly focuses on the Daleks and Davros, the, the best parts, but I, I have to re-watch it. So now we're moving to Trial of the Time Lord. As you know, the original season 23 never happened due to the hiatus. And it did need it because the stories here, the, some of them just weren't good. I do have some gems in season 22, but, you know, like Time Lash, just not good at all. Would I like original season 23? Well, I think some of the stories I would love to see, but Big Finish have adapted a couple, which is good. But yeah, I'm not sure if I would have original season 23 or Trial of the Time Lord, I really don't know. But yeah, stories like The Nightmare Fair did have a chance to look pretty damn good. So let's move on to Trial of the Time Lord with episodes 1 to 4, The Mysterious Planet. And I quite enjoyed this. A lot of people don't like this one. 
But yeah, I quite enjoyed it. I like the Immortal. I think he's a quite a good villain. Again, not the best, but still, I, I quite enjoyed him. The Sixth Doctor, again, brings a fantastic performance, both in the story and when he's on trial. I definitely love the trial scenes. It's definitely the best thing about Trial of the Time Lord and then getting closer to the Valiard. But yeah, this is a good story. I quite enjoyed that one for the most part. Still, some scenes looked a bit iffy. And episode 3 is Cliff and I thought, what, what was that all about? I just found that a bit odd for some reason. But yeah, it's, a, it's an alright story. I quite enjoy it. Episodes 5 to 8, Mind Warp. Yeah, a lot of people say this is one of the best Six Doctor stories. And from Trial of the Time Lord. And yeah, it is a good story. It is the return of Syl, who is a good villain. I do like Syl. And yeah, some great characters in that one as well. However, I wouldn't rate it a classic as everyone else does. I don't think it deserves that in my opinion, but still for the most part, very enjoyable. Yeah, that one is better than the Mysterious Planet. Now we come to the Extremely Pants, Terror of the Vervoids, parts 9 to 12. This one was not well executed. Some of the scenes looked daft. It really needed to be... It just didn't look... It looked really scrappy, it did. It did have potential, I was sort of enjoying the introduction summary to it all. The best thing about Terror of the Vervoids is not the story Terror of the Vervoids, just the trial scenes. But that is a really pants story, definitely the worst from Trial of the Time Lord. And finally we have The Ultimate Foe. Maybe my favourite from Trial of the Time Lord, I, I enjoyed that one, I did. Love the Valley Ardene, he's great. A lot more better in Last Adventure, no, a lot more taunting. But yeah, that's a... That's a nice end to the Sixth Doctor. Well, as for a TV run, it is. So that was the Colin Baker era. It might be quite short because there's not many stories of his. I would love if he had another season. I would personally enjoy it. But anyway, next up, it will be the Sylvester McCoy era. Haven't completed him yet. Only need Time and the Rani, Paradise Towers, Ace Adventures, and Ghost Light. So then, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one for the review of the First Doctor Volume 1, the Companion Chronicle set which was released in June 2015. So I'll see you in that one, and of course, goodbye and have a good one.